Guys, today I'm going to be sharing with you guys the focus for each laser. I currently have a bunch of lasers. I have the 7 walled laser. I have the 20 walled laser. And I have a G7 and G8. I'm going to be showing you the difference between each laser head. So this is the older 20 walled from outer this is the newer, the fixed focus, and uh, here's some lens that I'm going to be sharing with you guys. This is the original lens that comes in with a 20, old model 20. This is the uh, G2, and of course the famous G8 lens uh, comes in, and this uh, bought it with the air assist which is honestly this air assist is garbage I'll go into it later on why so these are the three lasers plus compare with the new 20 what I did a little bit here I printed a small small scale to show you I'm gonna just show you on the screen later on each laser how much it focus okay so I'm gonna be pausing the videos and making so right now I'll, I'll be turning the G, this is the the newest uh, laser. I already focused it to the paper, and then I'm just gonna bring it here, and then uh, let's see. I just want to show you each one how much approximately it is. I will be. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see this right now. So this is the newest. I'm just showing you the beams basically. So how small is that beam? This is the 20 newest model 20 laser uh, approximately. Let's say uh, can I just I need lights. So if we bring it, let's say from beginning, uh, let me see where I would like this somewhere. So just I'm touching it here. So it's about a line. Okay, uh, this is like a millimeter scale, but it's not a millimeter. I just scale it very, very small, just to give you guys an idea. I didn't see nobody doing this online, but just to show people what's the difference between each focus line. Okay, so you can see that the new 20 laser is about one line. Okay, let's say, let's keep an eye on it. I'm gonna change uh, the laser. For this, uh, we'll use a G2 laser. Then we'll go. How about this? I'll use the or the old original laser that comes in with the old model 20 watt. Then I will use the G2. Then I will use G8. So you guys can see each one how much is different. Okay. So I will be changing this laser setup right now to the older uh, to the older. 20 walled laser okay and now I hooked up the older model 20 walled not this thing this is the newest okay the one that lens focus does not move it goes up and down some of them but I haven't messed with it but this is the one that uses the fixed lens this is the new model again new model fixed lens that you adjust it with this thing here the old model is the screw on that you adjust the height. So now I'm going to be turning the old model on, and then you can see in my screen, I kind of focus as much as I can. This is the best thing you're going to get out of it. Let me just get it uh, to a sc screen. It's focused. Okay. Now I'm just going to show you guys now, compared to that skill I was using earlier. How much it is so the old model is about three line okay and the newer model it is one line so this is two line okay so the old one is two line the new one is one line and then I'll, I'll compare the G2 lens focus uh, next then I'll do the famous G8 okay guys we'll be right back Alright guys, and this is, I just installed the G2 lens, okay, I'm trying to focus as much as I can, it took a while, it took a while, a little bit, 
but this is the focus point okay and I'm going to turn around again so then we're going to show you compared to the skill I was using earlier uh, let's see let me put the scale to the camera so you guys can see it mm. how do I do this sorry guys it's a little bit hard so let me yeah, fix the scale it's basically not the scale it is the scale here okay so we'll go here it's just a little bit the G2 it is just a little bit over one I want to say like one and a quarter length that's the G2 um, and I'm just repeating in case you guys did not uh, the original lens that come, came with this model here was two line and the newer model it is one lying in the G2 that's supposed to be for cutting it is just all water lying so I want to say one point quarter of a line see this is a line see mouse this is a line here's a line I start from here it's just a little bit of a line and I know it shows it's not even but it just it just depends on the blackness I move so you can see I try as much as I can I focus it so next uh, I will do I will put the famous uh, G8 lens okay to show you guys the focus and uh, now I put the G8 lens it comes with this here I just took it off so I can easy focus there that's the air assist there so I'm gonna turn it on for you guys uh, it's on I hope you can see on the screen I focus as much as I can and then uh, now I'll be just putting it next to the scale to show you guys. Mm. Uh, let's see. And then it's about. little by little so it's about one and a half I'm not sure you can see it uh, hold on. Uh, sorry guys it's a little bit sensitive to adjust uh, About one quarter, just a little bit one over one and quarter. So compared to the G2 lens, this is the G2, this is the G8 here. Okay, uh, you'll see the comparison are very close. The length, uh, I'm not sure there's a lot of people are saying a lot of stuff on lying that the G2 lens is has a fine point. When I focused it using the manufacturing setting, the manufacturer recommendation, the height, everything. I did not see a lot of difference between G8 and G2. Okay. Uh, there is a little bit different. Now, again, my scale, this is not a millimeter. This is not nothing. Okay. It's just I took the millimeter scale. I painted red. And I just printed on a black paper so I can focus and show you guys just the difference between just, just a visual focus a different between each lens okay so okay that was a G2 that was the original lens that came in with the outer and this is the G8 this is with the old outer 20 wall laser okay and then and I compared it to the first one it was a newer model uh, 20 watt laser from outer Again, uh, compared to all three of them, you'll, you can rewind the video and see it. This one here came in about a one line to my, on my scale. So when I did the scale, let me show you guys. Uh, I'm just trying to get it. It's very hard. So this is the scale. So 
it, the the newest model it was from here and I can see my mouse from here all the way to here so like one line focus they did an amazing job the oldest model with the oldest focus length was two line one here all the way to here that was the big of the length of the bean and the G2 was from beginning of here all the way somewhere ended here and uh, G8 it ended just a little, just a little bit over like in a half when I say here so it started from here all the way here okay so I'm not sure scale wise exactly how it's different I just want to show you guys physical I don't know, a lot of people are asking what's the difference between the lens now G8 lens uh, it is that I, I use G8 I lost power honestly before so example if I was uh, trying to engrave something uh, before with this lens I was using let's say 1000 millimeter per second per minute sorry with the G2 with the G8 I had to go down about 200 sometimes to 300 millimeter so if I was using a thousand millimeter, I lost speed. I end up using seven hundred, sometimes seven fifty. Okay, just to get the same burn quality with the original lens. Okay, now the G two, no, it is strong. It's one lens element, basically one lens, and it's very strong. You do not uh, actually have to increase your speed, basically. But at the same time, it's made for cutting, basically, because it hit, it puts a lot of heat, okay? Now, with this lens here, it can do cutting, engraving, and you can see the beam, it was smaller. Again, I love what they did. They did an amazing job. I hope you guys like this video. I just want to say something. I Earlier in the beginning, I think I kind of said this was garbage. It was garbage for me. Again, I'm not sure for you, but for me, it did not work because... The idea of it, it went inside. So now, when the air came in, it's not shooting directly here. Air is going up, down, you know, whatever, trying to escape. So if it goes up, and it was touching the links. At some point, my links was fogging up, okay? Because my quality of print was different, okay? My cutting, it was different. So I'm not sure because it depends on your air. If you have a dry, dry air, it should not matter. But if you're in a colder weather, uh, I, I live in a colder weather, so air hitting a lens, it was making a little bit the lens foggy. So I was getting a little poor cutting quality with this. I do recommend the, the other kind they have. I ordered it. I don't have a 3D printer. And uh, at this point, it came, comes in this way and it focuses. But currently, right now, honestly, I'm not using none of those lenses. I'm using the newer Aura 20 lens. Okay, I do have some videos actually how to focus. How to a lot of people have the question how to focus this lens. I have another video on my channel. I hope this helped you guys again. Uh, I apologize for the English or if I made any mistakes. Don't kill me. I'm just trying to help here. Uh, I'm not trying to advertise anything. I'm not trying to bash any product again if you have just if you do have just this model not the old mo the newest model uh, for engraving G8 is good okay but you will lose some power because it's just the focus how is the focus G2 is recommended for cutting okay it's stronger it through it just give you a lot of heat for cutting and of course the original one is not bad too, but it's just you can see it have a larger beam. Okay, compared to a new one, I love the new one, of course. Uh, I hope you guys like this video, and thank you very much.